this is going to be a real quick video. Um, I just watched uh, something that Matt Stower uh, posted on YouTube in regards to the Con Microtuner. And after looking at how he actually disassembled it, I got a little bit curious to see uh, uh, what mine looked like underneath. Uh, so I took off a little uh, locking screw, um, stuck it on a magnet here so I wouldn't lose it. That's it right there. Uh, be very, very careful when you're trying to unscrew those. It is a very soft screw. Um, mine was a slightly corroded, uh, so you have to be very careful with removing that. Uh, the next part is the locking ring. And I just stuck a screwdriver in there, kept moving it ever so slowly to the left. Uh, kept using WD-40 to break it loose. And uh, the issue with this micro tuner was, um, I thought for the longest time that it was uh, stripped out. Uh, but after looking at the mechanism, I decided to give it a little look. And sure enough, when I'm actually looking at all the threads, they are fine. So the real issue is with about God knows how many years of gunk. Um, and you'll notice here, this is the double locking mechanism. Uh, Matt was using a 6M transitional model. This is from a Con New Wonder. And uh, yeah, there's, well, as you can see, grease galore. And uh, I'm going to use some degreasers, uh, maybe some white vinegar. Let those soak for a while, use a toothbrush, get in there, clean out what I can. Um, but now that I'm looking at this, I highly suspect the only reason why it isn't working is because it was all gummed up. So thank you, Matt. Um, I'm going to attach the link to this video and post it. Uh, a little bit of careful work and uh, you'll be able to tear yours apart, see what it looks like. and. Um, We'll try to get this thing back together and cleaned and see what it does. Okay, and we have most of the um, heavy degreasing done. Um, I went through this with a uh, degreaser and a toothbrush, cleaned out all the threads and fit everything back in to see what was going on. Um, still need to grease this before reassembling, but I wanted to make a note of this uh, double tongue design. Um, when you're putting this back in, there's two possible ways that this could fit in. Try both ways uh, to make sure uh, that you're putting it in the right way. Um, how I decided to leak test this was to simply cover up the bottom, uh, cover up the octo tip, and then blow right into the cork itself. As I'm doing this, I did that all throughout the different lengths of travel uh, to make sure that there's no unwanted taper in there. Uh, now, when I first did this, I actually reassembled it the wrong way, and there was a leak in there. Uh, so, as soon as I figured that out, tried it the other way, and there was no more leak, uh, no more air passing through. Uh, so, that's that, and we're going to grease this all up. Um, when I'm greasing this, I'm going to be very sure to get into uh, all contact points where the metal is contacting uh, metal um, and that's very important because this is brass and that's a relatively soft metal when you're dealing with something like this uh, but for all intents and purposes now that I'm looking at this without the gun it looks very clean and uh, the only thing that I can figure is way back when when someone had this horn and the micro tuner stopped uh, working they probably figured out the same thing that I did and the, uh, figured that the threads were stripped. Um, that said, the brass on brass threads haven't really been contacting each other since then and uh, they're looking really clean right now. Uh, so I'm hoping once I have everything assembled again that that turns out to be the case. Alright, and we have the final assembly here. And, uh, it's working just as it ought to be. Turn it counterclockwise and it lengthens the whole um, length of uh, the tubing. 
but if you have your mouthpiece on here, turning it counterclockwise will make it flatter. Uh, pushing it in, turning it clockwise will make it sharper. And everything feels tight and snug. Uh, now, a uh, couple little notes here. Um, Matt mentioned in his video that, if you see, there's uh, two little grooves on both sides here. And how I did this was with a small screwdriver um, moving very slowly. You could actually knock this out counterclockwise. Um, and I kept spraying WD-40 in there until it was um, breaking loose. Uh, that's one way to do it. Uh, like I said, there was no real corrosion or anything bad in here, so I was able to do that. Um, if this had been jammed in any more tight and if I was a little bit more careless with this, uh, th that actually could have been pretty treacherous, either by stabbing myself or <laughs> ruining uh, this part since it is brass, it's relatively soft. So if you're going to use the screwdriver method, move um, very carefully. I would actually recommend, if you have the tooling to do this, to make a tool, um, basically just a pipe with two little um, notches that will fit right into those grooves where you could turn it. Um, uh, Stephen Howard also has a method where you could take a certain type of uh, pliers, a uh, set of pliers, and bend the um, tips of them and rock it back and forth. Both of those will work. Um, you could try the screwdriver out. It's not really something I would recommend uh, after seeing how easily bad that could have turned out. Um, with the grease I used uh, Stevens method of using a um, they call it copper grease and it's a, uh, a type of um, a silicone based plumber's grease that's waterproof. It's thick but not overly thick and feels pretty good in there. Um, the only modification I did to this uh, I noticed when I put the locking nut back on that there was a little bit of play in between the plate and the micro tuner and the locking nut where the where they both meet they kind of sandwich this little uh, disc that's on the cork piece you may have seen that previously and that's how this whole mechanism works um, as you turn this out the sandwich piece in there pushes the whole cork section out um, yeah with that uh, said I did not put the grub screw back in because I found out that there was a little bit of wear and play where I probably turned the uh, locking nut here probably another quarter turn or so um, maybe down the road I'll drill in another uh, section for the grub screw but for the time being that feels plenty tight I don't think that's going to go anywhere um, but I'll keep the grub screw around just to have it for you know originality's sake uh, and that's it um, down the road I'll see if I notice any difference in how it plays or if there's any uh, benefits you know to having it out you know longer or shorter versus what type of mouthpieces whatever but I'll be a little experimentation that I'll do in future videos and uh, I'd like to thank Matt Stower and uh, Stephen Howard for um, giving me the know-how to actually tear one of these things apart and have a little fun with it. Um, so my name is Jake Workmeister and I watch guys that repair saxophones for a living. Take care.